hello yeah so so yesterday we discussed about the crispr and how it work so today i'll show you some uh, example and then we'll start to design few of the construct like a uh, uh, like i'll show you the website where you can go and design or see the update of the crispr or related thing my slide are visible right okay so once the as i mentioned yesterday once any gene is cut by the crispr okay <laughs> so once any gene is cut by the crispr there are different mechanism by naturally inside the cell that repair the double stranded break so as yesterday i mentioned there is first one is non homologous in base joining this happen naturally within the cell using the repair mechanism so imagine here the using the cas9 uh, there is a double stranded break happen yes sign up to any question no sir i accidentally touched it sir okay so once the double stranded break happen to the any dna there is a mechanism known as a non homologous in joining where directly any nucleotide is inserted or deleted because of that frame shift will happen now i i expect you guys are aware about the frame shift mutation where the codon position shifted and now because of the frame shift happen the mrna will be not synthesized that is translation will not happen and because of that uh, sorry transcription will not happen because of that you will not see the mature form of mrna and the uh, protein so this is the way people do the knockout where you totally delete or shut the expression of specific gene another is homology homology based direct repair where here you can see the specific change you want to incorporate into the genome now uh, cas9 come and at specific location it make a double strand and breaks now you will provide one template which has homology arm upstream of the cut and downstream of the cut so when you provide this homology based arm naturally there will be homologous based recombination happen in this region and because of that homologous recombination this purple color will go inside the genome just after this blue one and by this way you can incorporate incorporate any specific mutation if you want so today i will show you how to design the pam sequence and we can uh, see how not normally people design the experiment so first and most important thing when you think about a crispr in anything we need to express the cas9 protein inside the cell and when we are expressing this cas9 protein with the cas9 protein we express the guide rna so uh, no and there are lots of different type of plasmid available commercially where one can see the uh, uh already cloned the cas9 depend on the organism uh, from eukaryotic to the uh, different like a uh, fungi and other thing uh, just i think so okay so as i mentioned there are different website available where one can see which uh, type of plasmid you want if you go to the ad gene you will see different type of plasmid available commercially uh, even people uh, synthesize the plasmid or make in the lab so you you can just google the crispr cas plasmid related thing you will get the different bunch of information within ad gene uh, website where you will see all type how you will design the guide rna the if you want to do cut basic cut nick even the epigenetic related work and there are lots of thing and all of the guide rna is also uh, plasmid is available for example here rna targeting guide rna you can click on the guide rna one can click the guide rna then if you want the plasmid you can go and search the, uh, check the list of plasmid for example here there are different type of plasmid so i'm clicking on this pcas 
and one can see the plasmid map the cas9 expression and there is a position where you can clone the guide rna so uh, i'll show you how this website or guide rna thing work so for example uh, there are different database available commercially where you can check the enzyme uh, sequence of the gene so this one of uh, one of these is toxoplasma this is for the parasite another you can go to the ncbi and this one you can see homo sapien hexokinase you can just go google write uh, ncbi for example ncbi and once you go to the ncbi there are different option available as we are doing genomic knockout we have to go for the genome or the nucleotide sequence so i, I will directly go to the nucleotide and any gene which you want so here i will take hexokinase and when i uh, i want hexokinase i will specifically try for the homo sapien so you can see the list of organism this side and now you will get the different isoform of hexokinase and we'll select this first and click on the fasta where you will get the nucleotide sequence once you click on the fasta you'll get the nucleotide sequence like this so now i'll copy this one for our experiment i'll just copy till this point and we'll go to the this website known as chop chop and we'll paste target even you can put the gene id another way uh, we can put the target and point target it and you can select the which uh, one you want you want for knockout knocking or uh, activation like a repressor there are different function so just give some time input sequence was in legal okay as we copied the all the number with the sequence this type of sequence sometimes give error so we have to click only the fasta just take one row only two row and just delete this number okay so as i mentioned here you have different function and different of that guide rna can design for example now how knock in activation depressor and so on so you will select like let me refresh this one so i i have put around 180 nucleotide base pair sequence and you can see around 15 guide rna we can found within that 180 nucleotide sequence so you can imagine how like you can design guide rna within the 50 base pair and so any gene you can target at any position that's the beauty of this technique where one can design so this red color show the guide rna and there are different ranking according to this and yesterday if you remember i i mentioned the pam sequence that is c terminal that is ggg and anything after n gg so this is the pam sequence 
so these are the guide rna now once you design the guide rna for example i want to knock out this 15 number guide rna i will go to the this 15 number i will get the all the sequence now i got the sequence of this what's the position left primer right primer so this website give you the primer also to design the guide rna and uh, if there is any off target they mention what is the off target so now once i know uh, the guide rna uh, we can go for the cloning and now how it how we'll do uh, i'll show you in the slide okay so as i mentioned the plasmid has a guide rna and the cas9 site and this type of guide rna one will express so you can see the green color portion is the am dome you can clone this uh, portion in the plasmid and one can clone just using the primer you don't need any any sophisticated technique just simple primer will enough and once you clone this one you will express this within the cell so how will happen normally the cas9 will uh, the genomic dna is this for example and our primer containing guide rna and the cas9 it will come and bind to this position and now cas9 protein will come at this position and will try to make a double stranded break so how this thing work when we think about the experiment we have to go to, uh, step by step first i said identify target gene in our case we designed the hexokinase we determine the specific pam sequence that is guide rna sequence and now we will we have to for example ligate the guide rna to the vector which i mentioned and you will transfect into the cells now once the transfection happen cas9 will recognize yesterday i mentioned cas9 if you express inside the cell it will run like a train on the track whenever you get the specific blue color like a guide rna it will come and the gene whichever expresses this guide rna it will come and try to make a double stranded break and now as i mentioned if you make a double stranded break there are possibility of repairing so this figure which i am showing now this part of the work which i work in my uh, phd and the postdoc work where we try to knock out one of the genes from the toxoplasma gondii and why we want to do we want to do the gene modification like uh, we want to introduce gfp tag to the specific gene okay so he what i have done for example this is gene of interest as you are aware there are utr we have designed the cas9 the guide rna towards the c terminal okay we don't want to disturb the n terminal because this is for the endogenous tagging where we are introducing gfp or any other tag now because, uh, you designed the guide rna towards the uh, c terminal you can let me check okay you can i am designing guide rna towards this c terminal okay so once this double stranded break happen you will provide the homology based repair template where you can see this blue color is matching with this blue color and this black color is matching with this black color so what will happen this homologous based recombination will happen and within the genome our uh, this insert will introduce within the frame now here you can see anything will uh, with how you will uh, got to know that whether insertion happen you will design the primer upstream of the insert site here i you can see one and two numbers and in the parent line that is the control cell line when you amplify this you will see just 100 200 base pair while if there is a insertion you will get insertion size which is higher size so once i did now our specific gene has a tag that is a bir tag yp tag next you can see the expression yesterday i mentioned people used to check the protein level expression that is because it's very easily easy to understand here one of the figure i am showing this is the parasite that is toxoplasma gondii which infect to the host cell like a human cells 
and here i use the crispr technology to do do this green color tagging and you can see the once you use this tool whatever the whichever the parasite is expressing they are expressing gene with the genome tag so this green color tag and here you can see the nucleus also which we did and even in the western one can see the expression pattern so this experiment was different but uh, i have performed using crispr how to do the tagging uh, and similar way one can do the genome knockout so now i'll move to the knockout same way so when i'm saying tagging we are decided to do the guide array towards the c terminal okay because we want to do the c uh, C terminal tagging of the GFP, but now if I want to knock out the gene, okay. So base part is exon one, where the N terminal side, where ATG is there, the protein synthesis will start. So I will design the guide RNA such a way here that double stranded break will happen, and this insert we will provide. Now in previous figure I show this homology base insert will be there, and you can put any type of what you call as insert. Here I put the GFP because we can see the green fluorescence. easily now this insert will go at this position and using this primer combination as i mentioned we can find whether insert is there or not so using the combination of primer as you can see in this figure we can confirm that knockout happen and then at the end one can check using different type of tools like westerns and other application to check to like whether uh, your gene of interest is properly knockout happen or not same way uh, people are using this technique for the transformation into plant to make a gmo and related and the application other thing yesterday only we discussed and now if anybody has any question you can ask me because designing everything is very tricky and i feel personally if you go through the website understand everything and then one can work in the lab will help to understand how exactly things work any question good evening sir good evening nupur sir i have yeah. some doubts sir yesterday yeah. i used that uh, chop chop website but yeah. uh, i have the question like uh, i used bacillus strain and okay. bacillus uh, that faster sequence uh, gene product uh, like uh, the faster sequence of the gene mm -hmm. but sir uh, like if the cas if i don't know the uh pam sequence of uh, some uncharacterized ca uh, uh, cas then uh, okay. what should i put it in the uh, that option another option was there where we can keep uh, cas9 or cas uh, cpf1 different different uh, pam target sequences were there right so uh, when you don't know anything about the which pam because as i mentioned every species has a different type of cas9 and uh, i can see in the chop chop when you clicking on the bacillus bacillus genome sequence is there and the cas9 basically the cas9 itself people are using here so pam you don't need to modify i, I did not get your question what you are saying because Sir, in here web i just see, tried okay because i don't know uh, let's just say i have some uh, cas nucleus whose pam sequence i don't know like which pam it will recognize So okay. in that what uh, what I can do to uh, yes. the synthesis or uh, design guide RNA. So first and most important thing, uh, there are different Cas9 and the reported PAM sequence is already available. For example, if you are selecting Cas9, okay, if you are selecting Cas9, then NGG is the PAM. But if you are selecting some other type of Cas, as L1, Cas tail, you will see there are different type of PAM sequence for uh, that gene. so you have to search the literature and decide which cas9 you have to select and once you select the cas9 then only you can select the pam so all cas type of cas protein has a different pam sequence so it's a literature you have to study because you will not understand by the experiment which one you have to use or not so i can show you one where uh, your question just one minute i'll show you this one presentation where different cas has a different pam sequence you can see here staphylococcus when you see the pam sequence you use ngg any nucleotide followed by gg but if you see the other organism 
streptococcus or anything like a he, uh, this one or neisseria you will see different length of pam and this pam is very important to uh, recognize uh, like cas9 or any cas will recognize this so when we say the ngg or staphylococcus the cas9 protein is characterized from staphylococcus but there are different type of cas protein available to do the genetic modification like increase what yes shubham hello sir yeah shubham uh, my question is that to uh, for the accuracy means to target the sequence right uh, what is what is important more important uh, first is uh, pam sequence right? right and second is uh, designing the guide rna yes but so yeah yeah tell me but uh, after uh, these two things how mm -hmm. we can target because we can use uh, viral as well as non viral uh, things right like? so it depend on the application shubham for example you are thinking about the cell line for cell line you use that viral based insertion method where you will so whenever you think about a crispr there are four things you need to understand first the cas9 which type of cas9 you are expressing another the guide rna as you mentioned third the off target of guide rna so there are different website even the chop chop website they suggest how much percent off target is there so you need to carefully design your knock out or knock down guide rna space and fifth is the how you will target this guide rna inside the cell so eukaryotic system people use the viral base why viral base because anything when you are doing transfection by lipofactive my base or any electrophoresis base dna will be not stable cell will think uh, this is as a external source and most of the time it will uh, degrade after some passes but the retroviral base what will happen we'll use the virus as the transport factor and inside the virus you will send your genetic material so virus will go infect the cell and send the genetic material to the nucleus and that way what will happen because of the homologous way this cas9 or all other thing will incorporate into genome and for eukaryotic system basically cell line other thing viral base is very important but when you see about bacteria or any plant people use the electroporation based method okay sir means uh, after designing uh, next is the delivery uh, if uh, it it should be viral or non viral right yes depend on cell line like depend on your host what you are targeting for eukaryotic yes viral based and uh, i want to ask that uh, how how much uh, is the probability to get off target so for off target probability is depend on the, your guide rna but still 10% always off target you can see 10% and around 10% you can see depend on the guide rna okay okay so okay sir thank you i can understand i will give you one simple example the kinase family okay the atp binding domain so once understand where your guide chain is there for example if hexokinase when i am mentioning so one protein has different domain and the kinase is a functionally active domain where it bind to the atp and convert to adp or whatever the way if you designing guide rna towards the kinase domain you will see similar domain highly conserved across different protein so one should not target this type of domain because if you select this domain you will have a chance to get off target effect so you have to select something just after atg or something change the frame why because you don't care about the means there location. should be unique sequence right sir yes very unique sequence no domain specific very unique very start of the gene you don't want something middle of the gene start of the gene after atg because that time sequence is not that much functionally active so you can just do the frame shift that position okay okay sir thank you this was very helpful welcome excuse me Any sir any other question yeah nupur 
सर लेट्स जस्ट से आई एम आइसोलेटिंग अ नोबल कैस नाइन और एनी कैस न्यूक्लियस ओके बट आई डोंट नो द पैम सीक्वेंस लाइक राइट व्हिच पैम सीक्वेंस इट विल आइडेंटिफाई देन इन दैट केस सर हाउ कैन आई आइडेंटिफाई हाउ कैन आई डिजाइन माय गाइड आरएनए और हाउ कैन आई लाइक नो व्हिच इज द पैम साइट यस सो हाउ पीपल आइडेंटिफाई दिस सो लॉन्ग बैक पीपल आइसोलेट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ इंडोन्यूक्लियस and they synthesize different type of probability of the nucleotide so for example you are synthesizing 300 base pair of nucleotide some has a ngg one pam different pam different pam and inside the tube they try to check the endonuclease activity and that way you will so it's uh, not one step uh, one direct step you have to use like a millions of combination to check the novelty of that cas9 so it's not something because you are as you i understand your question you are saying this cas9 is totally novel nobody know the sequence nobody know the pam domain so yes sir you have to start with the synthesized commercially nucleotide and try to digest them check on agarose how its digestion pattern how consistent that digestion pattern and if something is digesting that nucleotide sequence you have to do again the mass spec to understand where is the location so all experiment happens step by step people do first digestion which your position is digesting what is the gc ratio what are the atg atg like content of the a and t and that way they figure out what's the pam sequence for that specific sir uh, are you referring to plasmid depletion assay mm, you can say like pam but you, uh, yeah, sir can, yeah. as we don't know the pam then how can we right. design guide rna which will be i'm, I'm uh, just yes. telling you so as applicant species most of the people whenever you are expressing cas9 you know which cas9 is in it it's already available public domain for example cas9 or pam sequence pam sequence identification is very easy if you know the cas9 feature but as you are mentioning the cas9 is totally novel you don't know pam then you have to do the as you mentioned the plasmid duplication and other type of study where you can understand the digestion pattern of the just like a restriction in them this you have to do one by one one step at a time so sir can we say that if uh, i have a novel cas9 nucleus right it's uh, its pam sequence will be similar to the uh, like uh, streptococcus pyogenes ngg is it like that it can be similar or may it may be similar or it, may not be similar it may be similar or may not be similar as long as you want to study like because you are first most important thing whenever you have a novel cas9 what you will do you will do the mass spec of that protein check the amino acid which is close species to that cas9 if you get yes the struct of amino acid way and the similarity is similar to streptococcus then you can say yes it's related to streptococcus but it is totally novel it's not matching with any species then it's a different way to solve the problem Okay, so it means if it is matching to any one of the classes of uh, uh, cas nucleases, then we can say that its spam sequence will be similar to those se- uh, those uh, cas nucleases. Right. 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 Okay. Thank you, sir. So we can say that this is the isoform of that specific. When you are getting from some other species, you can uh, the sequence similarity is more than ninety percent. People say it's isomeric, like isoform, not hundred percent, but it's similar to that. okay sir and sir in that um, uh, that uh, pathogenic uh, one more site uh, website you have yes. mentioned right. in that sir uh, on target activity i couldn't find is it because the sequence was uh, like different or it was not present or it was not correct is it like that efficiency was also not there uh i don't know the way you search but it's very easy there i can show you one more time that website is more easier than the chop chop one so for example you can see here you are mentioning this website right for example i yes, took sir. this okay i am i couldn't find the on target sequence like on target uh, activity okay i'll show you quickly so one can
so for example i am taking this sequence hmm? i got a uh, this sequence if i go and go to this website you can write x y z you will take this side array right? and i'm selecting the species which we are using toxoplasma and you can select any this and paste this okay they need more than wait i need more bigger sequence so in this website you will see off target on target score and everything so i'll show you quickly i don't know the which species or uh, organism you selected there but you have to be selected some organism or sequence which is available on this website for example amoeba cryptosporidium or any type of plasmodium and other thing this is specific website for the pathogen only so okay, so now, sir, other organism yes. we can't search no yeah if you search bacillus no because this is you so for that type of organism there are different website available i gave you one chop chop website which is basically available for universal everything you will see here and eukaryotic pathogen specifically the parasitic pathogen you will see on this website so maybe you selected the wrong organism because database is very important here so i'll show you quickly four so because on this website you will see the off target on target everything so it will show the exactly where is guide rna matching and everything okay so you can see on target hit in the genome so 1 and 0 so when that is the green color suggesting this is on target and the uh, this side if it is uh, non perfectly matched to pam it will show any color and you can see in this website you can go the score is down which is off target red color showing off target so this all our guide rna and this is the pam sequence which we selected and there are different type of scores they suggest sometimes they mention no problem found that is this is perfect guide rna it will it doesn't have any off target and everything is matching so on this website you will see all the on target and off target effect you are saying same website right yes sir sir how much gc content is uh, appropriate so all depend on the organism also for example uh, for eukaryotic cell 50 to 60% gc content is okay but if you understanding some cell like a uh, some specific cell line cancer cell line or the Uh, organism sometimes 40% gc needed so it's all depend on your host how much gc compatible the host genome is there okay sir thank you so much yes sain yes, senudin any question anyone hello sir i want to ask one doubt again yeah yeah uh, no about uh, guide rna how okay. to design uh, specifically means uh, from the website we can understand the sequence but designing uh, requires a manual procedure or is there any machine centric automated thing so that thing will come in the molecular biology way once for example as i mentioned right now one of the guide rna we got it okay that is no off target now that guide rna how you clone to the specific vector itself is a different topic where you can use ligation based pcr based or the infusion based different technology or different uh what you call as enzyme based you can use it because there are commercial available plasmid which has a guide rna position where you just need to put that pentib pair and normally people use the primer forward and reverse primer aligning together and do the ligation 
once the okay, plasma sir, is ready, you. you can transpect to the cell and then check the activity. So expression guide RNA also need a promoter. That promoter is specific to the organism. For example, if I am working on the Cho cell, that is Chinese hamstring cell, I have to have a promoter from the Cho cell only. I cannot take the human or the mice promoter, like a different organism. So we have to make sure that which organism you are using, the promoter should be follow the same for that. Yes, yes, yes. Promoter is also very important, right? Right. Okay, thank you, sir. Welcome. Okay, everyone. Sir, yeah. Sir, yes, in, uh, in in germline editing, is it possible to make changes in a uh, for example, if I if I take sickle cell anemia, uh, mm -hmm. there is only one nucleotide is change one nucleotide change is causing uh, sickle cell anemia, sir. But right. if I want to make the make the make that change, uh, if, if I want to knock that out saying a single nucleotide, how mm -hmm. will um, it would produce uh, so how well uh, how well the outcome will be good in germline cell. So already scientists show that it's a reversible, but you understand human cell is totally different. Like when you are saying laboratory cell, you can reverse it, but at the somatic level, even whatever you are changing, you cannot change to the all the cells. So yes, you yes, are understanding. You have to do the stem cell level, or sometimes the fetus when they uh, people do the in vitro. IFA or other things people got to me. like with early stage of fetus also people can change the like a uh, amino acid sequence but not uh, like adult we cannot use right now in the human way but cell level only the sickle cell anime experiment is done on the CRISPR way and people reverse the amino acid yes sir, yes sir. I So I think so. All the questions I uh, tried to answer. If anything is there, I have given you the LinkedIn uh, access. You can send me anytime any text. In future, if you need any help related to any training and other thing, I am happy to help whatever the way I can do. And sir is here. Even yeah. Sir, Hello. you said you work in uh, Origin Pharmaceuticals. Right. So do you also conduct some hands-on uh, workshop for CRISPR? No, we I was doing previously, but not as a company level. It's totally different, no course. So we okay. don't do any hands-on workshop or other thing. But if you are master student or something who want to come for six months or something, company do that. But they have also specific protocol to follow for that. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, everyone, thank you. Good night.